Welcome to this video about the legendary footballer Rivaldo. We'll cover personal details of this player, then share fascinating not well known trivia about their career and personal lives, and at the end some of the greatest achievements, numbers, goals and more interesting stuff you requested. If you want your idea to come alive in a form of a video, be sure to comment your suggestions. So Rivaldo, he was born in 1972 on the 19th of April. His height is 186 centimeters or 6 foot 2. His main position was center attacking midfield. He played for Paulista FC, then he went to Santa Cruz, Mojimirim, Corinthians, Palmeiras, Deportivo La Coruña, Barcelona, AC Milan, Cruzeiro, Olympiacos, AEK Athens and Sao Paulo. His highest value was 102 million euros in 2002. His marital status is divorced and then later married, now currently married to Elisa Kaminski Ferreira, and he has six kids from both of his wives. His jersey number used to be the number 10 and number 11 for club and country, although he had many different numbers uh, throughout his career, but mainly number 10 and number 11. His nickname is The Complete One. His net worth is an estimated 74 million US dollars, which he earned through his footballing career. Currently, he is a working president of Moji Mirim Sports Club in Brazil and has a political career ahead of him. He retired from football in 2015. So, let's dive in and see 10 interesting and not well-known facts about him. So, Rivaldo was born in Paulista, Brazil and began his football career with Paulistano FC. He went on to play for several teams in Brazil including Mojimirim, Corinthians and Palmeiras before moving to Europe to play for Deportivo La Coruña in Spain. Number two, Rivaldo grew up in a poor family and his parents struggled to make ends meet. As a result, Rivaldo had to work odd jobs to help support the family, including construction work and selling candy and shining shoes. Despite these challenges, he continued to pursue his passion for football. Number three, Rivaldo's mother was a big fan of the soap opera El Magnifico. And when she saw the character named Rivaldo, she decided to name her son after him. Number four, Rivaldo has spoken openly about his faith and the role it has played in his life and career. He has credited his success on the field to his belief in God and has said that he always prays before games. Number five, Rivaldo and his wife Roseanne suffered a miscarriage in 1995, which was a difficult time for the couple. They later decided to adopt a son, whom they named Rivaldinho. Number 6. Rivaldo was known for his fitness and dedication to staying in shape throughout his career. He often practiced martial arts as a way to stay fit and improve his flexibility. Number 7. In the 2002 World Cup, Rivaldo scored a crucial goal against England in the quarterfinals that helped Brazil advance to the semi-final. The goal is memorable for two reasons. First, it was a spectacular long-range strike that flew past the goalkeeper and second, it came after Rivaldo was hit in the leg by the ball and pretended to be injured in order to waste time. Number 8. Despite his success on the field, Rivaldo has had some difficult moments in his personal life. In 2013, he revealed that he had been struggling with financial problems and had considered suicide. He said that he was able to overcome his struggles by relying on his faith and support of his family. Number 9. Rivaldo is known for his charity work in Brazil and has established a foundation called the Rivaldo Foundation that helps unprivileged children. The foundation provides education, healthcare and sport training to children in need and has also built a football school in Rivaldo's hometown of Paulista. In addition to this, Rivaldo has participated in several charity matches and events to raise funds for various causes. Number 10. 
After retiring from football, Rivaldo has become involved in politics in Brazil and has been an outspoken critic of corruption in the country. He was elected as a city councillor in 2016 and has continued to advocate for social justice and reform. Now, let's talk about some of Rivaldo's greatest achievements in football, which include winning the FIFA World Cup with Brazil in 2002, where he was one of the key players in the team. He was winning the Ballon d'Or in 1999 and also winning the UEFA Champions League with Arce Milan in 2003, winning two La Liga titles and the Copa del Rey with Barcelona, winning the Campeonato Paulista Sao Paulo State Championship with Corinthians in 2013, scoring a whopping 34 goals for Brazil, making him the eighth highest scorer in the national team's history and also he was being named in the FIFA World Cup All-Star team in 2002. Now, Rivardo played a total of 818 club matches in his career, scoring 351 goals. He earned 74 caps for the Brazilian national team, scoring 34 goals. Rivaldo played for a total of 14 clubs throughout his career, including Palmeiras, Deportivo La Coruña, Barcelona, AC Milan, Olympiacos, Punio do Cor, Sao Paulo and Cabus Corp. He is the only player in history to score a hat-trick in the final match of the Spanish La Liga, doing so in the 2000 and 2001 season. Also, Rivaldo's highest scoring season was 1998 and 1999 when he scored 39 goals for Barcelona in all competitions. And here is one record that he holds to this day. Rivaldo holds the record for the most goals scored by a Brazilian player in a single UEFA Champions League season with 10 goals in the 1999-2000 season. And that is Rivaldo in a nutshell. We hope you enjoy learning more about this footballing legend, life, career and his achievements. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to our channel for more content like this. And don't forget to check out other videos for more interesting facts on our channel. Make sure that you subscribe. Until then, thanks again for watching.